We're going to get quite a few things today, but first, let's get the hell out of this water. Hey everyone, this is GT, another installment of Let's Play Metroid Prime has just arrived. Previously, we got ourselves the grapple beam. Now, I want to show you where I was there. I was right in this room, the Tower of Light. Basically, if you go down below, there was a little area where we could... There's a door that we could walk through. We needed the gravity suit in order to double jump up to here. So yes, previously, we got ourselves the grapple beam. And today, I'm going to start off with this here, getting an artifact. This is the artifact of... Life Giver, the fifth of twelve. So now we have one, two, three, four of the twelve artifacts. We only need eight more before we're before we're done with the game. Now, where I want to go next is to get the ice spreader. Now, if you, you remember before, it was in Magmore Caverns, and I looked it up, and it turns out it's in the. I need to find the area. It's called the Shore Tunnel. It's not that one. This one. This is where I want to go. This little area right here. So I am going to... Let's see. Can I... That goes to Fendrana Drifts. Uh, that goes to Talon Overworld West. Um, Alright, yeah. I'm going to jump over here. And then afterwards, we're actually going right over to here. Because there's a power up here we can get. So I will meet you guys here at the Shore Tunnel. All right, I've reached the shore tunnel. Turns out it actually didn't take overly long. I just warped. Uh, I ended up coming from Talon Overworld over to here, uh, right over here to the shore tunnel, and I'll just end up going the other way to get back to this area. Anyway, as you saw down there, the ice spreader is down here. So in order to get it, boom, power bomb. Ow. Okay, ice spreader. Aha! Ice Spreader acquired! Alright, now the Ice Spreader is a single shot that uses 10 missiles. Let me go ahead and show you what it does. Yeah, lots of ice. Alright. I am going to hop on back over to the Geothermal Core. Okie dokie, I have made it back to the geothermal core. Right. Now you may notice that the little platform dudes, uh, they aren't here anymore. Now, what we want to do, we can only do this once we have the grapple beam. You may also notice that, well, okay, the ceiling goes up. You do this, meow. Now, if you have the uh, the GameCube version, apparently, if you can do the Ghetto Jump, then you can uh, do this. Then you can actually uh, do this before getting the Grapple Beam. Anyway, you want to spin these. You want to spin in this, and then this will get you over to here. You'll notice that the music changes when you do this. I'm gonna spin these up as far as you as far as I can go. And then jump back over to here to this race platform so you see where this is going. Do this. Nyah, 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 nyah. Oh crap, I wanted to stay in ball form because of the spider ball. Alright, so now that we're up here. Can we... S nope. Uh, we can't spin any farther, but... Whoa. Whoa. We can come up here. This is a Morph Ball Bomb Slot. And it raises the roof, baby! Aw, yeah. Totally raise the roof. Alright. Now we get to do a little... Thing with the uh, spider ball. Doesn't this remind you of the power bomb guardian from Metroid Prime 2? Because it reminds me of that awful, awful, awful boss fight. I don't like it.
There are these enemies that I'm actually going to... Ah, damn it, I can't scan them. I can't get out of ball form to scan them. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um... Yeah. That was odd. Uh, hold on a second. Alright, I just had to stop the recording for a second, because something weird happened with Audacity, where it wasn't, like, it wasn't showing the, you know, timeline moving across, or I just thought Audacity was, uh, being weird on me, so I had to stop the recording just to make sure it's alright. It was alright, but... Obviously, I'm not going to take any chances. I, I do not believe you want these guys to touch you. Just go... Whee! Oh yes, this part is fun. Not. It's just kind of... I don't know, it just takes a while. That was awesome, though. That was very fun. Right up on this wall. Let's go with the spider ball now. There we go. Power bomb that shit. All right. Now I want to go ahead and scan these guys. I already scan them. Okay, this makes it easy. Gets the ice beam. And what is this? Plasma beam. Yeah, like you didn't see that one coming. All right, we now have the plasma beam. So now we can open it to unlock this door, or we use it to unlock this door. Now, one thing I want to mention with the beams. Power beam looks normal. Wave beam kind of stretches out to the side. What Ice beam stretches out above. And plasma beam stretches out, el elongates. Elong the, it elongates itself. All right, now one thing that I'm going to mention that I, I will show about the plasma beam is that, yeah, it, it fires really fast. I mean faster than the wave beam but look watch as I fire it here see how those hit the wall watch the plasma beam it does not hit the wall the plasma beam has a limited range this is its one downfall so you can't hit enemies from a really long distance but if you're up close it's really really powerful All right now that I've gotten that what I want to do is I want to go back into the phase on mine because there is um, uh, where was it? Over, I don't know where, uh, that ice door in Omega Research Lab, but I'll, I'm sure I'll, I can find out. Um, I want to, this is where we're going to go back, because now that we have the x-ray visor, we can go back here, but you would have to, if you went here immediately, you would have had to go back and get the, uh, plasma beam anyway. I want to go to here. Did you see that red door over there? That leads to the plasma beams beam combo. The uh, flamethrower, I think it's called. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to head back. I'm actually going to go back through this way. Because in the Talon Overworld, if I can find it over here. That's Chozo Ruins. Talon Overworld. That area leads to this root cave here, which I can actually go up. So I'm going to try to go up here and see what I can get at the top here where the plasma beam door is, so I'm going to jump here. Alright, now as you can see, we're about halfway up, almost halfway up in the root cave, and you'll see here that there is a grapple point that we can latch onto, so let's go ahead and do that. Gotta wait to turn around. There. Because last time, right before this, I failed that and I had to climb all the way back up. It was very annoying. This thing, just use a couple shots and you can just you just burn it. It just goes raw, incinerate, burn to ash. The world shall turn to ash. Yes, I understand that the Wiimote batteries are low. What the hell are you trying to be? Oh, um, yeah. Then here, you use the x-ray visor. 
And you get to see these little platforms. Because look, oh my god, we're standing on nothing! Uh... Over there, maybe? Ah, yes. Alright, now back here, you saw there was a missile expansion. Alright. So that, five more missiles. Make sure you got your little x-ray visor on so you don't fall all the way down like that! God damn it! I saw that coming too. Hey. Alright. No. No. All right, now that we got that missile expansion, what can I do now? Can I go... All right, yeah, I can go over here. Yes! 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 All right. Now... Uh, we're going to go back to the Phazon Mines. I, mean, I actually need to find the quickest way to get over here. Um, the quickest way to get where I want to go over here in the Phazon Mines is to go through the Talon Overworld South. Which will be... This area, right? It'll be... That there. But I need to go through the Chozo Ruins in order to get over there. So, now nah, I'll figure it out. I'll just meet you guys back there at that area of the phase on mines. All right, I have finally returned to. That was a very, 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 very long break. Anyway. Here in the mine security station, near this, near the wave beam door, there is a door of Vendesium here. Go ahead and bomb this. Scan this, and it's going to turn off the force field that's blocking access to the flamethrower. So, I'm going to go back now and get that. I have no idea how long I was going off screen, but my recording says like 33 some minutes, coupled with the 15 minutes on the other one. I've been going for almost like 50 minutes. But, mo but, like I said, most of it is going to be cut out. Because it's a lot of uh, backtracking. That's what's great about video editing. I can just edit stuff out and say, Hey, I'm going to meet you guys here. Boom. Throw in a music, tra throw in a music transition. I also uh, found out that the ice spreader is very effective against ice troopers. It will kill them in one shot. So now we have the flamethrower. Flamethrower is like the Wave Buster. I'm just going to go ahead and demonstrate it right now. Woo, woo, woo. That's your Flamethrower. That's pretty much it. It's not very exciting. Alright, now what I'm going to do... This is the main point. I'm going to go... This elevator leads down... To there. Oh, that's where this elevator leads. Okay... Yeah, um, I went another way earlier in the, uh, I'll go ahead and show you here in Magmore Caverns. Uh, over this way, the workstation tunnel, there was a thing you could power bomb, and it leads to a phase on Mines West, uh, elevator, which goes all the way down to here. We're going to be going here later, but for now, I'm going to head on over, let's say... I'm going to go over to this save point, and I'm going to call it a video. So actually, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I, I'm just going to call it right here. So on the next installment of Let's Play Metroid Prime, we're going to start off from here, head on over this way through the Metroid Quarantine, and see where that takes us. So this has been GT. Thank you all for watching, and enjoy the rest of your day.